don't worry. Where is the... I just went and got the clip Hi. and now I don't have it. Oh. Hi. Hi, Hangwood. Hey, yeah, we're just getting situated. One second. I don't know. So you guys might have to go sideways. The people on Periscope, which is going to make it kind of hard to... Uh... You, you locked my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Henry. Okay. How you guys okay, doing? <laughs> Maybe you can just hold it. I think yeah, it's better if I hold it. I think you could actually turn this too. Like Green so. tequila, no. It will fall off. No, it won't. Alright. Adjustable. So you guys, unhang with the people that are just joining, oh, right? Okay. Oh, what's up, Andrea? I hope I'm saying your name right. You might have to tell me Hi, how to Carrie. say your name. So you guys, we're actually... Uh, okay, just hold it, just hold it, because it's... <laughs> Hi. You can hold the phone. So the people I'm hanging with right now, um, ew. I don't like this view. <laughs> There's no way, ew. It's like the side freaking thing of my pant leg. Gross. All right, so we're doing past the tat. Um, we're actually going to be calling Dollars and also calling <coughs> Andrea. I hope I'm saying your name right. From ones from Hangwood that I've known for a long time, Dollars. I've been I've known Dollars forever, and Andrea. I've been watching her for a long time, but we actually got to pickle bomb her yesterday, and she's going to share her stories and why she got her tattoos, and she has some actually really good stories. I can't wait to hear. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for a little bit. I'm doing great. Thank you, all the people on Hangwood. Hi, welcome to the Tattoo Talk. Bad connection. Are you on Wi-Fi? Yeah. Really? A hongo chakum. Chakum chakum. You want me to hold that way? No. You're gonna suffer. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope. My head is below. Nope. It's not. Below. Uh, yeah, hang with, hang with is an app. Sorry. Hang with is an app um, that I've been broadcasting on for like four years. So um, it's just H A N W slash slash hang with. It's the same kind of thing as Periscope, but way longer it's grandfathered in shout outs to hang with shout outs to hang with hi chef jess uh got your skype nice dollars is going to be first Do hi, just me. dollars is uh someone that i've been following and he has been following me on hang with for the longest time ever he has lots of tattoos so we're actually gonna skype him and kind of interview him if you guys want to follow dollars do you have a way to um skype me and broadcast at the same time because if there's a way, um, people can actually tune into your broadcast and take a better look um, through uh, instead of through my computer. They could actually follow. Is there a way you can uh, broadcast like on an iPad or something? It's 11 p.m. 8 a.m. Sorry. Yeah, it's 11 a.m. So if you guys don't know who I am, I'm Yo Pickles. I'm in South Korea. This is Liz a lot. It's her last day in Korea. She's going back to Singapore. And uh, you gave up on Periscope. Oh. Um, so if you guys don't know, I do a tattoo show every uh, every Monday night for you guys in America and Tuesday morning for me here in South Korea and all the people over in Asia. It's Tuesday morning and I'm doing the whole past the tat. I'm starting past the tat and it's going to happen every week on Monday night. So if you guys have a tattoo and you want to share your tattoo and you want to share with everybody your story about your tattoos, uh, Definitely DM me on Yo Pickles on Facebook, and um, we can make like a scheduled time. Can white ink cover tattoos? Nope. The only way to cover tattoos is covering it with another another ink color that's darker than the one that you're trying to cover, or you can get it lasered and get it like lightened, and then you can cover it with another cover, something like that. Cover scars. White ink cover scars? Like to make the scar go away? I don't think so. I think it will just highlight it more. <laughs> I'm in Korea because I'm an English teacher, um, uh, and I've been here for almost five years. Damn, it's hard to freaking keep saying that. Digital tickets, Chef, Chef Jess, went well. We just did it one time. We did uh, Wee's Fest on digital ticket. We had 11 people that actually showed up, but we, have, we had, I think, 27 people that bought the ticket. So I'm not sure if anybody actually went back and rewatched it, but it went well. I think it went well for the first show. Will your tattoos change? What do you mean change? Like, it's like so ugly over there. No, it's okay though, it's okay, don't worry. Um, what, what do you mean, will they change? I don't know what that means. So you guys, I'm actually gonna get dollars ready. Dollars, I hope you're ready for me. If you lose a lot of weight. 
It, uh, yeah, it definitely will change. It depends on where, though. Like, you guys know there's, like, stretch marks. If you lose a lot of weight and there's stretch marks, your skin will actually kind of change form. You're ready. Dollars. Hey, everybody, go click on dollars on Periscope. He's in the brown or the peach. Or peach. So if you guys want to click on his name, I'm not sure if there's a way to watch him as we interview him or if dollars, I don't know if you answered that, like if there's a way you can like broadcast off an iPad or another, another, um, what is it? My phone stand. This. Oh, that little thing. It's hot. Freaking Korea is hot. What was that first tattoo? Um, my first tattoo Mom. was a butterfly on my lower hip. <laughs> okay, dollars. I think we might have to go in my dark room for this. Dark room? There? Mm. Okay. Because otherwise, remember the... Do you think we, we can try? All right, let me just get dollars ready. Yeah, it's okay. Yes, you're on too now. Cool. All right, so if you guys, um... Have any questions once Dollar starts talking, definitely start asking. I have a few questions I want to ask him first. And then we're gonna um, we're going to ask questions from you guys. Can I get a flesh colored tattoo on my arm so it doesn't show? Why would you do that? Do you have a favorite tattoo? Yes. Yes. Mr. Pickles. How old is Dollars? These are the questions that we have to ask Dollars. Ew. I hope this works. You guys, by the way, past the tat's gonna be on Periscope. Yeah. Where's the microphone? Yes, I'm on Periscope as well. My camera working. Whoa, wait. Oh, great. I hope this works. <gasps> Dollars! Hi! Are you on Periscope? Periscope as well. What, you're broadcasting? Yes. You guys, if you want to see Dollars better, you can go onto his uh, Periscope, which is. What? Wait, say it again. Dollars. Yeah. D O L L A Z what? Five four. Five four. Yeah, actually, Periscope, Liz is going to restart this, and she's going to put his screen name into the title so you guys can find Come back. it. All right, Dollars, just give us a second. Hi, Dollars, how are you? So you're still live on uh, Hangwood, so I'm pretty sure people will recognize you on Hangwood, maybe. It's really dark on your s screen, though. I'm not sure if we're going to actually see your tattoo. Do you have like a brighter room or bathroom? Uh, what is the screen name again? Screen name is Dolla, right? D-O-L-L-A-Z 254. Dolla. Z no Z. Oh yeah, dollars. Yeah. So like that. D O L L A Z two five four. Right, dollars. Yes. So this is cool, like this. Yeah, maybe at dollars. Oh okay. I think it's better. But even like the. Yeah, that's good. All right, we are officially live on Periscope and hang with. <laughs> Hi, Dominic! <laughs> Dominic, you are the first person to be on the pass tattoo, it. pass the tat. How does that make you feel? Great? It makes me feel special. You feel special? Yeah. So, it's kind of hard to hear you, so you might have to talk really loud. No, I'm saying, since I'm the first one, I guess it makes me feel special. And then we go back since hang and all that and all that other good stuff so i mean it's a good thing to for people to share their stories i know a lot of people tattoos is becoming art a lot of people are getting things for free it's, uh, it's kind of choppy yeah why is it so choppy uh andrea is on i think you guys may want to consider using black for this yeah maybe we'll try that next time
It might work better because we can get four people at one time talking about tattoos. Good idea, Andrea. Okay, uh, dollars. Let's try this without too much bad connection. <laughs> oh no. So, oh my god. It's better than Skype Boo now. And the connection the, is bad. Maybe it's the phone thing so close. All right, so dollars, just show us the tattoo you want to like, fe the featured one. Like, tell us a little bit about which one you're talking about. Oh, great. It's on his back, guys. It's on his back. Where is it? He's getting naked. What is that? Okay, wait. Don't move. Just stay like that for a second. So it looks like a phoenix or a dragon, right? I hope I didn't just say the wrong thing. Because it's kind of hard to see. The what? Oh, it's a it's phoenix. phoenix. So if you guys don't know what a phoenix is, um, Google. Google it because actually maybe dollars can tell us what. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. So how old is this tattoo? Tattoo actually got in Nebraska back in 2012. Damn, that's a long time. And it, what it represents, it says the writing on the top of it says prevail over misfortunes. And for the people that do know me, Oh no, oh shit. It's breaking. Why does it look so low? Oh great! Dollars, up. wait a second. This is failing. Do you have a full internet service? I mean, do you have full Wi Fi right now? Yes, I have full Wi Fi. I got the, the high speed internet. My job pays for it. Not Maybe, good. yeah, when you're not moving, it works better. Okay, start over. Say what you were just saying, sorry. No, I was saying, so for the most people that do know me, I was in the military. And it was a rough road in the military. Mm. Hey, dollars, how about this? Come back onto my, uh, I'm going to go live on Periscope. And then I'm going to invite a bunch of people into a broadcast that you're doing, and then we're going to watch you on there. And we're going to ask you questions from Periscope. On mine or yours? On yours. No. So I'm going to restart this broadcast on Periscope, and have, or just have you come onto my Periscope, and then we're just going to do like a mini heart blast flash mob into your broadcast, and you can just talk, and we can answer questions on there because we can't really hear you here. It's probably better that way. So just go onto the one that's playing right now. It says an interview with dollars. If you can. Sorry, guys. We're going to get this to work. We'll be really good for Andrea when it's time for Andrea. So, Andrea, this is what's going to happen. We're going to have to just come onto your broadcast. So, it's going to be like a mini flash bomb. So, there's going to be a lot of people that probably won't know what's going on. So, you're going to have to say, like, I'm doing past the chat and... I can hear myself. Yep. Okay, I'm hanging up dollars. Oh my goodness. Okay, so dollars. So there's dollars, guys. Um, D dollars two blue. five four. Yeah, and we're gonna actually um, we're gonna actually on and just flash mob him is what's gonna happen. Go follow dollars. Yeah, or just follow me because I'm about to um, I'm about to invite all of you guys into his broadcast so we can continue this thing. So. Uh, dollars, you're more than welcome to go live now, and we're going to come in and bomb you. So get ready for questions from everybody, and I think the Skype testing was just for today. We're just testing the Skype, but I actually want to do Pass the Tat on Periscope, but I want to involve Hangwood, too, because the tattoo shows on Hangwood. So it might be a little bit hard at first, but I think we can do this. There's going to be a way, like she was saying on Blab. But dollars... I'm hoping he's live, so just exit out of this, Liz, and let's go find dollars. And you guys stay tuned. Damn, this is going crazy. Oh, Domos is live. Okay, yeah, he just went live. So this is my account, right? Yeah. yeah so yeah. just go crazy and invite like 20 times. Okay. Yes, welcome back. Well, you guys, welcome back. Just can you write for him to talk about past the chat and what it is? Because there's going to be rain. I am here to stay. So I'm going to let y'all come join the uh, broadcast, and then I'll talk about my tattoo. Oh, yeah, the past the tat. So, yeah, for you guys that 
did not hear my pass the tat or my I guess yeah being the first one on pass the tat I mean it's kind of an honor to be on pass the tat because mm-hmm. me and Chelsea or as you guys know yo pickles go back from our previous app which was hang with and I think I'm it's still a great experience with. for people that actually are getting tattoos since more more and more people you see more and more people with tattoos and different designs and different types of share? art which actually should be expressed okay. to one another because it's 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 like great another language that and that's I mean and it's always a great thing to express that language oh dollars is so cute Dollars, phone, phone. Sorry, phone call. You had a phone call. Yeah, what I'm saying is, yeah, it's a nice thing to express your language through the art that comes on your body. And for my tattoos, I guess if you haven't seen it, it was a phoenix tattoo. On the top of the tattoo, it said, prevail over misfortunes. And for the ones that do know me, I was in the military, I was in the Air Force. I did four years in the Air Force. And I guess everybody had their, yeah, I had my little rough patch with the Air Force. It really wasn't something cut out for me. So therefore, because of the, basically because of the fact that I really didn't have many opportunities while I was going through the Air Force. So I ended up getting out and now I'm going, oh, well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Well, thank you for letting me. But uh, I got out, got, went to school, got my bachelor's degree in software development. And now working at home with Marriott that's your talk. and looking that's for a career job. And that's basically what the Phoenix stands for. It's basically okay. my life, my military life may mm, have crumbled, I guess, not to uh, like career wise. So therefore it burned in its, uh, it, it basically my military career burned. So to speak, if you understand what I'm saying. And then the ashes is me going to school and rebuilding myself as a civilian outside the military world Maybe to become who I am today. Awesome. Hey, if Hangwick has any questions for dollars, you're more than welcome to uh, write it, and I'll pass it on to his prevail over your mis- or Prevail over misfortunes. You guys, so if you guys are just joining on Hangwick, this is an interview with dollars. He's talking about his tattoos on Pass the Chat on Periscope. Because the only person, that can, only person that can make you fail yeah, is yourself. Yeah. And we don't have drugs. So, any questions, comments, questions? Ask him when was the first time he got Anything? that? How old was he Anybody? for his first tattoo? Or did I get everything? It's like my first time having this many people in my. Oh. And maybe right, everybody uh, share. Broadcast, I mean, everybody follow dollars. Dollars follow back. Something like that. Dollars follows back. My first tattoo I got when I was 18 was actually this tattoo. This is dollars candy. Which is from my mother. Um, we're doing past the tattoo on and Periscope. She, yeah, so my mom, since yeah, my mom was um, uh, so Hangwood doesn't have the share yeah. feature, so I can't do like a past the tattoo kind of thing on there. Tattoos. I guess I could, but it has to be really organized. I have mine. Oh, the tattoo so, I have on the side. This is dollars. This one is for my sister. Her name is Alona. It's I L O N A. Because she's been there for me through thick and thin. Then I had another one on this side, which is. No. No, dollars. <laughs> this oh, this is frozen on the text. It says like a family on one side and then first on the other. If you read it one way, it says family. The other way, it says first. Because that's how I, I wish Hangwood had a share feature. Because we could do first. something really cool like this. And you should always put Actually, if you guys on Hangwood so have man, tattoos and you want to be on next week's tattoo, life, we can do it where you guys broadcast family. on Hangwood, then we come everybody, onto your broadcast on Hangwood and do the same thing opposite. And even if, even if uh, your family is a friend that you're really close to, you always put family first. Amen, dollars. Amen. Like that. That's what just tell him he has me. three more minutes. Of the if people he wants that to talk are strong for you and with you, it's always family first. Anything else? He's so cute. Other questions? like awkward. Comments. My first time. It's my first time. Maybe I've been nervous, so work with me here. <laughs> I'm getting these phone calls. Finding a good cat tattoo artist. It depends Maybe on. Maybe ask him. Do, it does on he where recommend you go. any? Do you want to hold oh, this in our type? Okay, it depends yeah. on where you go. You just have to know the right people. It's much better. 
and uh, mm. what's it called? It? Yeah, you you just have to know the right people. If like in Nebraska, it took me some time to actually find a good artist because when I was stationed there, I didn't know either. I had no family, no friends, or nothing. I just had to get to know people and look around to find good tattoo artists. Hello from ATL. Hello from Texas. But yeah, you just gotta find people and whoever. Yeah, basically, mm. who's best to be recommended anywhere in that city? In my uh, in my city, I'm actually since I just moved back here back to Colleen or to Fort Hood. Uh, I'm not really sure who would be recommended in this city. I've heard of Skin by Sin. And then there's the place I went to to get my first tattoo with Jaded Dragon, but they're actually closed down now. Mm -hmm. And I haven't been home for uh, a while. Actually, my most expensive tattoo was actually that back piece. I think it was like 150. That's which it? Which is actually, actually pretty cheap. Cause I just got a, what's it called? Cause the guy that did my tattoo, cause when I was in Nebraska, and he did eight of my name, tattoos Andy. and he pretty much basically like cut me a deal. So he's really pretty good. Yeah. Instagram also is actually a good tool now. No, I wouldn't get any tattoos on my neck side just because of the fact that the wise, the clothes I got my neck is my collarbone, which just says love, strength, <laughs> wisdom, which basically speaks for itself. You can't live without love, can't live without strength, and you can't make it without being wise or having wisdom. So that's another, that's another little tattoo that I have to I am not live by. Phone and it's freaking There's out. love, strength, and wisdom. No, all my tattoos are actually, well, my latest tattoo was that back tattoo, or no, actually my rib tattoos, which I got done in Nebraska, and I left, and I left Nebraska in 2012, so... Easy tattoo at Easy Risers. Oh. Well, I know, because I got a lot of... Actually, one of the guys... The guy that did this tattoo is... If you guys watch Ink Master, his name is Chris B. I forgot his last name. Chris B. He's like the big guy with the overalls and the, and the bald head. He works at Big Brain. He works at Big Brain in Omaha. He's the one that did my back tattoo. So if you guys watch Ink Master, check out Chris Bolatini, I think. Big and he, Yeah, Chris B. Yeah. He did, he's the one that did my back tattoo. He's on Ink Master, so. Big brain in Omaha, Nebraska. What does this message just say? So I actually uh, felt kind of honored. The one to piece he's waiting like, hey, to he get because he's waiting on the perfect artist. But, yeah. Okay. And that is my tattoo that I would like to show. Thank you. And for yes. showing up to my scope. Make sure you follow me. If you want to see more or anything else, my ID is the same. And all that other good stuff, and... And the story of my life, I guess, on my Snapchat. So, thank you, and have a good night. See you guys later. Uh, oh, sh thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay. We just go. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, hang with. We're going to go yeah. on to someone else. And a salute to you guys. And a salute to you, yo pickles. Yo army. Yo army. Pass the tat. <laughs> Make okay. sure you, you guys follow. And make sure you guys keep up with the pass to anybody else if you... Uh oh. Alright, guys, we're gonna go find another pass the tap from Andrea. See, I like it, but we can do it. Okay. Andrea, how's it going? Happy evening. Guys, this Thanks is for joining, guys. So, Autumn uh, by the Sea, who's known for heart mobbing, um, she, I met her last night on one of my scopes, and she told me that she was doing a scope on tattoos okay. and so i thought oh that's cool i you know i only have two tattoos um but two that i got me everything to me hey nadia how's it going welcome welcome hey tamika hey bonita Hey, hey. So I know that you guys are used to me doing biz rants and biz bombs, but I thought it would be cool to participate in this um, that Autumn by the Sea is doing. She's right there with the purple heart, so definitely be sure to follow her and connect with her. She does a lot of um, heart mobbing, heart bombing or heart mobbing, which is really cool. And she's starting this past the tat where she's interviewing people on um, their tattoo stories. So, yeah, Melody, you know I'm a good I'm a good one to tell some stories. So I know I have a time limit, so I will make it short and sweet. Um, but what people don't that I have two tattoos. Um, oh, that's awesome.
awesome. I'm so glad they for you. It was shocked the shit out of me at first, but once I understood what was really excited by it. So I have two tattoos. I don't know if I can do this. Can you guys see my tattoos? What the? Wait, can you see them? Or do I need to come down? Um, oh, great. You may not be able to see them. I might have to, I might have to come down. Hold on. Let me see if I can get my husband to do this real quick. Nice. Hold on. Hey, babe. Can you come here just for real quick so you can show, so I can show these guys my tattoo? I need your camera on it. Just put it on pause for a second. Hold on. He's going to come show you, but I'll tell you the story real quick. Um, the first tattoo I got when I was 35 years old, um, and I did it with one of my best oh, friends who also was adopted. Okay, so see if you can put this on. Can be. You have can to DM me it? on Facebook on Yo Pickles page, and we'll set you up for next week. Oh, oh, double tap. Husband's like, I don't know how to do this. Mm -hmm. Now is it on me? Yeah. So ask, ask them if they can see it. Can you see it? And zoom in on that. There's a birthday. It looks like a birthday or a phone number. Can I see it? Yeah. Wow, what okay. Is so, um, okay. And also what I can do is show you a picture of it. So the first tattoo that I got was when I was 35 and me and my best friend who too was also adopted. We decided to get um, our first tattoo together. She was adopted from South Korea. I was adopted from Tunisia. And I was scared shitless to get a tattoo. I thought I was going to die. I was hoping I could get drunk before I got the tattoo. But of course, you can't do that because they're essentially like, you know, like putting a hot knife in your body, right? <laughs> so um, I spent a lot of time getting my tattoo. The top part of the tattoo, and I'm going to show you guys because I have a on my Facebook. This is it right here on my Facebook. The first part is just zodiac sign, but this right here is my birth name, Ibtisam in Arabic. And what's really cool about this name um, in Arabic is that I didn't know how to find somebody to write it for me in Arabic, and I happened to be in the Philippines for work, and I went to this nightclub, and there was people from Tunisia literally at this nightclub in the Philippines and my friend Shaheen had already written it out for me in Arabic and I was carrying it on a napkin for about an, a year and so then I had it verified by my new friends in the Philippines um, who said yes yes that's how you spell Ibtisam so this one top one these two right here the um, zodiac sign and Ibtisam I got when I was 35 years old um, with my best friend, and she got the. Then a couple of years later, I know because I wanted to make sure it really said Ibtisam, which in Arabic means smile. Um, Arabic Ibtisam, I B T I S S E M, uh, means smile in Arabic. Um, and so I, that's what they named me in the orphanage, the caretakers there. So it was a really sweet, they kept it as part of my legal name when they adopted me from Africa. Um, and it just means a lot to me because it's really my connection to those women that cared for me in that orphanage because they took the time to name me. Then this, the last, you did, congratulations, Lisa. That's awesome. So my last tattoo, um, and I don't have any other tattoos, was I copied Angelina Jolie, who, um, you guys, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but she always has the attitude and longitude of all her kids on her arm. And so I went and found the latitude and longitude of orphanage where I was born in Tunisia, where I was dropped off in Tunisia. And I got that underneath that a couple of years later. So those are the only two tattoos that I've ever gotten. And I, I'm deciding on what to get because I did, I was afraid to get a bunch of tattoos because I'm not an artsy person. I see them on people. I think they look so beautiful, but it's not, um, it's not really my, like my style. Cause I wouldn't even know how to wear it. I feel like you have to wear the right clothes when you have cool tattoos. <laughs> Cause it's like a fashion statement. And I just, I wasn't that type of girl. So I wanted to get tattoos that even at 95 or a hundred years old, I would totally, um, be so proud of these tattoos. So those are the two tattoos that I've got. Maybe one day I'll get another one. I'm sure it'll be linked to my culture, 
um, or something about my adoption story, I'm sure, but who knows. So that's my tattoo story. I just, um, I, I'm really happy to um, participate and pass the tat because not many people know I have a tattoo because it's on the back of my neck. You can't see it unless I want you to. Um, so is there anyone on here um, that has a tattoo that wants to go live or any questions for me? Oh, that's mm -hmm. sweet. Well, my girlfriend, the one from Korea, she ended up getting a stamp that said Made in Korea. So she's continued her tattoo adoption journey, and it's really cool. So uh, my adopted Cuban grandmother has a New York Yankee tattoo. That is so sweet, victoriously grazed. That's that is up. awesome. Um, so yeah. it looks like, thank you so much. Really cool. I have many tattoos, but I'm too shy to go live. <laughs> Why? Don't be shy. Go for it. I want to get one, but I think I must be intentional. Yeah, that's what it was for me, Lenika. I just wanted to be super intentional um, for me personally. And I, and I notice when I hear other people tell their stories, they're all intentional. So um, I think it's really cool to hear the story. I think so many people get judged by their tattoos. And when I see them, I'm like, wow, that's freaking awesome art. You know, I mean, it just, I know that there's tons of stories in the tattoo. So I think it's really cool that Autumn is doing this. I don't really know what her name is personally. Um, I think I heard someone say Chelsea. So, um, yeah, me too, Victoriously. Um, I, I sense, like, when I saw Yo Pickles tattoos, I'm like, it fits her personality. Um, and I can see that, like, I don't have a sense of style, so I don't even know um, how I would dress if I had a bunch of tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> Chelsea, that's her name. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, okay, so I want to yeah. honor the um, Chelsea's uh, past, tat, past the tat. So I'm assuming that we're moving on to Bonita. So Chelsea, I don't know if anyone has any questions for me, um, but if you have any questions, um, just put them up real quickly because I bet I have about 60 seconds left to answer them um, so that uh, Bonita mm -hmm. can go on and get it started. I want to see your tattoos. Okay, guys. Thank you. It was so fun doing this. Woo! -hoo. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, guys. We're going to one more person. This is kind of fun, but I wish that we could do it. We need to do it somehow on, on Hang With. We need to make a Hang With one and a Periscope one. So if you guys have tattoos on Hang With, if you guys want to be on Past the Tat, uh, you guys have to DM me on Yo Pickles page, and we can make a... Like, make it where we can all just go in somehow. It has to be organized, though. Oh, shit. Is that her? Look at that. Oh, no, that was Vian. Vian, the same lady? Oh, yeah, this is me. Which body? Tattoos. But first of all, I want to introduce myself. My name is Viviani, a.k.a. Bibonita, and I look crazy. Mm. Thanks for the hearts. So, guys, I have seven tattoos. And hi, Anna. Oi, Bonita. Hi, Aline. So, so I have, I have, uh, okay. Sorry, guys. Wait. Oi, Bonita. <laughs> okay, this is my first one. It's a butterfly. I have uh, a very small tattoo under this wing here. I was 16, and then I got it done three years ago. And so this means I always believe that tattoos have to have a meaning behind See, it. People are really so into talking about butterflies tattoos, they don't mean know how transformation to, like, to me. Like, this is like so when I was 16, so like... I decided to have this, um, to have a uh, so really butterfly so tattoo. Yeah. And then three years ago, I got it, you know, bigger and color, uh, colored. Then I have, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, oh my gosh, I have one, a sun right in my back, I don't know if you guys can see it, mm -hmm. right here, can you guys see it? The sun here symbolizes the um, sunset back in Brazil, I was sitting and watching the sunset and I was thinking about uh, the sun means life without light, we'll, we wouldn't survive. So I decided to have a sun in my back so I know that the sun always follows me and I'm alive. So yes, that was my intention. Then, 
have mm. this one here, a rose. I had this tattoo when I had my son. I decided to do it. And then amor, which means love. That was a year, two years later. Then yeah. I have this one here, which means remember to remember. And the V in the middle, that's me. Viviani, remember to remember who you are, Viviani. And also is a metaphysical chart. So the end of circle means the universe, right? So then I have one of the coolest tattoo, which is a very unique story. This is a Polynesian tattoo. Uh, in the middle, like Polynesian tattoo, the symbols are very meaningful so the middle uh means love these forks here means each member each member of my family and then this symbolizes life continuation so i told the tattoo artist that i want to have love hi girl love family and life and then my last one i just turned 40 last year and i got this arrow here because i am a warrior of light so Deep. that's what this Deep. these tattoos symbolize every tattoo has a meaning behind and i hope you guys like this story uh i think this is it i don't know if i'm gonna have more but um i love tattoos and i think that when you decide to get a tattoo you need to definitely have a meaning behind it because this is going to stay with you forever. And so please don't get those anchor tattoos or dolphin tattoo unless you have a meaning behind it. So yeah, so you guys have any questions because I see everybody just coming. <laughs> right, mm. Andrew? It has to have a meaning. Yes, thank you very much. I, yes, I feel I'm 40, but I feel like I'm 30. Yes. No dolphins, girl. Uh-uh. We around. passing that. <laughs> Thank you guys. I love my tattoos. I love my tattoos. And uh, hey now, hey now. So you guys have any questions? Um, I'm gonna just drop a little commercial here. Um, uh, I'm Viviani, aka Be Bonita. I scope about beauty tips, makeup tips, skincare tips, and also I do scopes in the morning, like inspirational um, scopes as well. And hopefully I'll see some of your faces in my scope. Yeah, my core message yes, is be able to inspire women and men to um, accept or take responsibility to uh, uh, claim your own beauty, your unique expression of that beauty. So that's my intent. That's my core message. And uh, I hope you guys follow me somewhere on Periscope or Twitter and stay connected with me. And I'm going to add a little bit of uh, a Brazilian twist to it because I'm from Brazil. So there are some Brazilian tips that, um, <laughs> tips that I share on, on Periscope and also on Twitter. So stay connected with me via Twitter and uh, Periscope. And yes, so I'm sure, <laughs> girls, I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the love. I look a little like special tonight, but still. <laughs> I love this show, my tattoos. Yes, it's so awesome. I love that. I love you too, Eileen. You're so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Autumn. Thank you. I love it. I love it. I might get another tattoo at the end of this year, maybe. <laughs> okay, so I can pass the 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 tat, the pass the tat tat. Not the tit. Not the tat. The tat. <laughs> Who is next? Oh, that's again a vacation. Okay, follow Autumn to get a notification. Oh, is Vida here? Hi, Vida! Oi, bonita, tudo bem? Te amo muito, what's up? Guys, I speak Portuguese. So, yes. So, who's going to go next? I think Autumn, right? So, no, I, do I need to get I off? i go find this guy. Oh. Nobody's saying anything on hang with. Maybe hang with. Maybe we stop. Um. 
make this more organized. If you guys want to be part of the Papa Chat, you can uh, write me on Facebook and we can do one on, on Hangout next time. So you guys just look for Yo Pickles on on Facebook. Thanks for guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the, 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 the few people that we got to watch. And we'll see you soon. Bye. You're awesome. Bye. See you.